Once you've recorded two tracks, you'll need to separate them so that you can record them down into one file. Now to make sure the two tracks are separate and running one after the other, use the time shift tool or what I call the drag tool. Click on the drag, drag tool in the top left hand corner, then click on the track that you're going to shift or drag along. You could then move that track to where you need it to be. You'll also need to use the horizontal scroll bar to make sure you can line the tracks up properly. You can now see the two tracks are lined up. When one track finishes, the next track starts. Now you're ready to record it down into one M3 file.